what's up everybody it's georgina welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm gonna do a hairstyles video and i can promise you now if you are bad at doing your hair then this video is for you there's not gonna be any complicated hairstyles in this video like trust me okay i feel you because i'm really bad at doing my hair as well so this video is for you these are all going to be instagram batty hairstyles <laughs> just ignore my hair because it's a little bit greasy i didn't want to film this video with fresh hair because obviously i'm going to be touching it like a thousand times and it's going to be like 20 times more greasy by the end of this video so also i'm in my boyfriend's bathroom because the lighting is a bomb do you see this lighting i'm gonna start with my favorite one the one i've been obsessed with lately you just need two hair ties and we're gonna make two cute little pigtails ponytails on the side of her head i'm gonna brush all of my hair up like this you do need to like part your hair however you want it like however you want the part to be and you are just gonna brush your hair up i'm a person that always likes to leave some little like front pieces out like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. When you have wrapped it around enough and it's really tight, just make sure you kind of pull on it like that. There's one, literally took me five seconds. And the trickiest part of this hairstyle is getting them to look even. Again, I'm gonna leave some front pieces hanging out. Now this is totally optional, but I do um, always do this because it just makes it look like 10 times better. I grab a little piece of hair from underneath and I just wrap it around the hair tie to kind of hide it because obviously these hair ties are not the prettiest in the world. So I just wrap a little piece of hair around it to hide them. And to secure it, you just use a bobby pin and just Pin it down. Do you guys see the difference? I feel like this one looks a lot better. Next up, you are going to put all of your hair behind your ears. Make sure this part is like sleek. You can brush it back if that helps. This one's literally the easiest because you're basically doing the same hairstyle as in the first one. Um, but these are like low ponytails, but for the third hairstyle, I'm actually gonna like transform this hairstyle to another hairstyle. Just hold on, it will make sense, okay? So here we have the two ponytails again. Like I said, I always like to pull out some front pieces like this, sometimes even from the side so it doesn't look as neat and like perfect. Sometimes when I want a little bit more volume at the top, I'll just do this, kind of scrunch my roots together. But from this one, like I said, we're going to make an even cuter hairstyle. So for this one, you'll need a lot of these little hair ties. We're gonna make ourselves a cute little bubble braid ponytail. So grab yourself a shit ton of these little shits and start wrapping these around your hair, kind of like this. I leave about this much space in between. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can always kind of fix it later, but just go all the way down with these hair ties. has gotten so long <laughs> i just did the other side off camera really quick i just did the other side off camera really quick um but now comes the fun part and you're going to poof them and make them really like big and voluminous little balls <laughs> so you're just gonna pull 
in between the hair ties like this and keep pulling until it becomes like really bubbly and big. <laughs> Okay, here they are. How cute is this? This is so cute, especially like for Instagram or like a TikTok. Love it. For the next hairstyle, we're gonna do two cute little braids in the front. Insert picture here. This is probably one of my faves because it's super easy and quick to do. And I also really love this for when my hair is getting greasy because the front pieces always get like greasy first with my hair. I don't know if anyone else has that, but when my hair is starting to get greasy, I always do this hairstyle. So I take two little sections in the front, probably around this big. It's really not a lot of hair. And you are just going to braid this. And as always, at the end, I'm just securing it with a little hair tie. Okay, here are the braids, and it's such a vibe. I'm wearing my hair behind my ears, but you can obviously also just wear it down. And then it'll look like this, and it's such a cute little detail in the front. I love this! It's so cute. Next hairstyle is going to be the perfect messy bun and the secret to a perfect messy bun is to not try and make it perfect. Literally, you just want to put your hair up like really quick, don't even try to make it perfect, don't even try to make it look good because then they always come out the best, trust me. I'm gonna shake my hair like this for like some more volume and kind of do this and then and just wrestle my hair tie around it, okay. Do you see what I mean? And I'm not even done yet, okay? Because this obviously still looks a little bit crazy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull on the sides, pull on the front, make sure that I get more volume. If you want, you can grab some bobby pins. I always use bobby pin, uh, pins for my bun. And I am just gonna go to town and put them wherever I feel like a bobby pin is needed. Because obviously you don't want it to be like loose on your head. You want it to, like, you want it to stay put. And the secret to make it look messy but still cute obviously is to pull out as much baby hairs as possible literally just go crazy pull out all your baby hairs even from the side even from here just go crazy baby here's my cute little messy bun and what i do sometimes is i grab my straighteners or curlers and i actually curl like the front pieces pulling in with my straighteners and curling those little bits in the front I'm gonna do the sides as well The curls are a little bit too tight, so obviously like when you wear this for a couple of hours, they'll fall down a little bit more and like look a little bit more natural. But this is the exact hairstyle that I wore in my 400k picture on Instagram. This is the aftermath. <laughs> okay, now for the last hairstyle. All you need for this is a clip. This is literally the easiest hairstyle. Anyone can do this if you have a hair clip. I literally wear my hair like this every single day when I don't feel like having my hair down. You're just gonna take some hair from both sides of your head. And I like to... As I was saying, you're just going to take a little bit of hair from both sides like this. I always like to brush it like smooth a little bit. Take your clip, put it in, and now you are going to play around with your hair a little bit as you would do with any other hairstyle. Kind of create some more volume here in the back. And I always bring my hair 
to the front as well and this is my go-to hairstyle for when i want to wear my hair down with an outfit but i don't want like a lot of hair like falling towards my face or like a lot of hair in my face this is just so much better okay guys that is going to be it for my hairstyles video i really hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you want to see more hair videos in the future give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications you guys know the drill and also do not forget to follow me on instagram which is at georgina joanita and also my beauty brand which is at ggb beauty i'm wearing ggb beauty lashes today in this style memory go get you some on ggbbeauty.com and i will see you guys back in my next video bye